The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Today we continue hearing the testimony of another witness. L'audition des témoins. Since Et nous allons entendre un nouveau témoin. Another witness who is not very well. So we skip to hear testimony of KW20 instead. Uh, the Graffiers, could you please verify the attendance of uh, the parties to the proceeding and the person concerned, uh, especially the witness to testify in today's session? The Graffier, Mr. President, the parties to the proceedings today are all present. The civil party and the civil party lawyer, uh, Mrs. Fabian, is also present. Uh, and KW20 and 21 are present. They are not related to any parties to the proceeding or to the accused, and they have already taken off. Il n'a aucun lien de parenté avec la personne mise en examen ou avec les parties civiles et il a déjà prêté serment. The president, uh, according to rule 237 e, point one of the internal rule, we would like to invite civil party lawyer group 3 to seek a recognition of uh, their colleague. Présenter la nouvelle avocate pour son accréditation. Mr. Vanari, first, uh, Citrina, dear Mr. President and uh, your honors, Citrina, Monsieur le Président, today les juges, I would like to seek recognition for Mrs. Fabian Thuis, uh, the Maître chief Fabienne of the Bar Thuis. Association of that uh, city. And she has already taken an oath. At the Bar Association of Cambodia, and she has applied uh, accordingly to the Cambodian laws, and she has been admitted to practice uh, her legal profession in the Kingdom of Cambodia and at the ECCC. So I would like now to seek uh, recognition from the trial chamber to allow her to admit her to be part of the civil party lawyers in our group three. Thank you. Mr. President, Mrs. Fabian Truth, could you please uh, stand up? Uh, the trial chamber has now recognized you as the civil party lawyer for civil party group three for the proceedings before this chamber. According to this recognition, you can enjoy the same rights as your co-lawyer. Please be seated. The court uh, official, could you call witness KW20? Je demande à lui ici maintenant de faire entrer KW20 dans le prétoire.
The President, the witness, what is your name? Monsieur le témoin, comment vous appelez-vous? Response, my name is Seik Don. Réponse, je m'appelle Seik Don. The President, Don. do Question. you have any other names other than Don? Est-ce que vous avez un autre nom que celui de Don? The President repeats. Do you have any other names? Response: No, I don't, non, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Question. The President, uh, how old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? Response: uh, The interpreter could not hear uh, Mr. Sigdon. The President, could you please repeat uh, and uh, please be advised that uh, you should wait until you see the red light on the mic before you can speak. Otherwise, your message cannot be communicated or interpreted uh, and for the si good record entendu, you should also uh, be advised que, uh, vous pour once again how old are you this year vous cette année? response Réponse. I am 48 years old 48 ans. the president what is your occupation? Quel est votre métier? Response: I am a peasant. Je suis I do farming. The president, uh, please be reminded that wait until you see the red light on the mic before you can speak. Response: I am doing farming. Réponse, je suis cultivateur. Question. The President, according to the report of our graph says that uh, you have no relation, blood uh, relation with any parties to the proceedings and that you have taken, taken an oath. Is that correct? correct? Response. Réponse. It's, yes, it's correct, oui, Your Honor. Exact. The president, uh, are you, uh, have you got any close relationship with any parties to the proceedings? Response. I'm not related to any non, parties to the proceedings. Avec, uh, parties. The president, uh, Mr. Seik Don, as a witness Dan, before the ECCC, we would like to inform you the rights and your obligation. As a witness, you can reject to respond to any questions, and uh, you have the rights not to respond to in a cell incriminate uh, you at the same time as a witness you have the obligation to tell the truth nothing but the truth you should not uh, respond to any question based on your assumption or Et lorsque vous répondez aux questions uh, il ne s'agit pas de conclusion so do you understand répondre par des supputations par vos propres rights conclusions and obligations. Mais que vous avez vu et entendu est-ce que vous comprenez bien The President, uh, do you Le understand what que vous you have been compris. informed in relation to the right and obligation and that you have to tell the truth, nothing but the truth? Response, I don't understand, uh, Mr. President. Pas, the President, as a witness, you témoin, can reject to respond to any questions. Ne pas à une question. So you have the rise against cell incrimination. Si vous pensez que votre réponse risque de vous incriminer.
So this is the right. Uh, number two, it is Ça your obligation. Exemple, As a witness, you obligation are obliged to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. Toute la vérité, and uh, la in your responses, you should avoid uh, making any assumption based on your conclusion rather than telling the truth. Do you understand? De dire autre chose que ce que vous avez vous-même constaté, vu et entendu. Est-ce que vous comprenez maintenant? The president, Mr. Sekdon, can you answer to my question? May we the president, uh, the council for witness, could you please make sure you can consult uh, this witness so that the rights and obligation be told uh, to him so you can please approach him and explain this to him The President, have you understood already the right and the obligation after you have been consulted? Response. I have witnessed the condition in, in the regime. Oui, témoin the president, please respond régime. to my question. Non, ma question. Once again, Mr. Sekdon, where did you live and what did you do from 1970 to 1975? Réponse. I was a child 
and I was taken to Phnom Penh by two militias, and I was sent to Sala Lake Pram. I spent overnight there before I was taken by a truck to Phnom Penh, and I conducted training at the technical school at Prek Tnaut. De Prec -Tnaut. The President. Question. Anka sent you to Sala Lake Pram in Kampung Chnang, where you trained, you was trained. Chnang. Do you remember when exactly was it? Est-ce que vous vous souvenez du moment exact où ça s'est passé? Response. I don't remember. I was so non, young at that time. Jeune. I could just follow the other and I didn't remember the date. Suivre, the date. The president, uh, how old were you when you Question. studied at the technical school at Pract Now? The president, could you please be reminded again that uh, only respond to my question when the light on the mic is on. Otherwise, you're only talking to yourself and no one can listen to you. When you were sent to receive training at Prague Tnaut School, Technical School, how old were you? Response. I was... 11 years old. The President, how long Question. had uh, you attended uh, the trainings at Precht now? Response, for about three months. Three months environ. President, after receiving such training at Prek Tnaut for that duration, where were you sent to next? Response, after that, I was sent to work in a child unit somewhere near Phnom Penh. I don't remember where it was. I was made to carry dirt or soil. President, uh, you Question. were taken to do farming to build dikes and to work somewhere near Phnom Penh. So how long had uh, you been working at that uh, new location? Response. I had worked for a certain period of time. It's quite long enough, but I don't remember when or how long it was before I was taken to work at S21. The president. Uh, do you remember when did you arrive at S21? Response. I don't remember the month, but I know for sure that I was sent there by 1978, and I worked there as a child medic to distribute medicines to detainees through the adults. The president, uh, when you came to S21, at the beginning, what 
was actually the name of the location was it originally the uh, uh, called s21 response i was not told anything about the location and i only learned of the name when Et i had uh, spent uh, some time working there already because temps. i was too young and uh, i only learned of the name after i had worked there for quite some time je already the president you left and s21 you said and when did you leave it Quand cela s'est-il passé? Response. Réponse. There was a, a gun fighting or of uh, the gun sounds, and then the, we tirs, heard the artillery, and then des, we left. Des bruits d'artillerie, c'est là que nous sommes partis. The president, uh, let's us uh, move back a little bit uh, to the arrière. time when you were assigned by Anka to work at S21. Could you please tell us about your duties at that premise? Response. I worked as a child medic to distribute medicines to detainees and I had to be in a company with the adults who were as medics too. Par un adulte, membre de l'équipe médicale aussi. The president, uh, did you write and read back then? Est-ce que vous saviez lire et écrire à l'époque? Response, no I didn't. Non. Response. Question. Do you write and read now? Aujourd'hui, est-ce que vous savez lire et écrire? Response. Réponse. Yes, I do. I can read oui. and write uh, significantly. Lire et écrire. Now. The president uh, judges of the bench. Uh, would you wish to put questions to this witness? Le président se tourne vers Judge le juge. Too many. You que vous take avez des the questions floor. Juge Toumani. Judge too many. Mr. Sekdon, Sek you stated that when you came to S21, you were assigned to distribute medicines to detainees with the company of the adults. During your work, uh, before you started distributing medicines, Avant were you trained on medical matters? Response, I was not trained, I was assigned to only distribute the medicines and as advised by the adults and I knew for sure that at that time there were nothing but the uh, rabbit pellets medicines. Judge too many, did you have to distribute medicines into all buildings at S21? Response. I was assigned to distribute medicine to house number 3 or building 3 only. Judge too many. What about the other buildings? Were you also asked to distribute medicine to those buildings? Response. Réponse. There were other groups. Two persons were assigned to distribute medicine to one building at that time. Question. 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 How many medics were there at S21? Response. Réponse. There were some adults, medics, and later on they had been arrested. For example, 
my chief of the team, Mr. Bao, was also arrested. Question, you said uh, many medics uh, when you came, so how many were many? Plusieurs euh, membres de l'équipe médicale, mais cela fait combien au total Réponse. There were two Il y en avait, chiefs of y avait deux chefs. Moi, j'avais deux chefs. Question. Question. Do you remember their names Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de leurs noms uh, They were Pao and Yun. Et Yun. Question. Question. How many were the child medics in your team? Il y combien d'enfants dans l'équipe médicale? Responses. Réponse. There were four of us. Quatre. Team, team Mon, Mon and Ho. Et Ho. Question. Question. Among the child medics at S21, were there Female y avait des medics. Response. Réponse. There were two male medics, Pao and Yun. Question. Question. What about Question. female medics? Were Et there aussi, any of them? Y en avait? Et combien? Response. Réponse. No, there weren't. Non, il y a pas de filles. Question. Question. When you came to work at S21, did you know who supervised S21? Response. The supervisor of S21 was Deutsch. Duke était le directeur de S21. Question. Question. Did you know Deutsch clearly? Connaissiez-vous bien Duke? Response: I did not know him that well. Réponse, I ne pas only occasionally saw him from a distance. De temps en temps, I was uh, quite young and at the time, and I did not dare to look at his face. He uh, was the big boss. Lui, c'était uh, le grand chef Question. à l'époque, et je n'osais pas le regarder. Besides, Dodge. En face, Did you know question. any other à part que vous leaders or supervisors uh, at S21? Personne qui um, occupait des Poste à responsabilité S21. Those leaders uh, subordinates to Dutch, I didn't know them. I only knew him. Ces responsables qui étaient subordonnés de Duc, je ne les connaissais pas. Je ne connaissais que Duc. Question. Question. You went around dispensing the medicine vous through the sick people, vous vous êtes through the sick prisoners. Et vous avez dispensé des uh, médicaments aux prisonniers. Et pouvez-vous nous donner une idée des coups de l'état des prisonniers dans What les bâtiments où vous vous rendiez pour dispenser des médicaments, des médicaments Quelles étaient leurs conditions de détention Réponse. They had wounds and sores euh, on their bodies, especially on their backs. Euh, They had présenter their des fingernails hein. missing. Um, and for those prisoners who protested, des traces, des marques sur leur corps, um, et des uh, ongles they would uh, be manqués. tortured by the guards chief. They were cuffed or chained, or chained ou avaient été torturés par legs and the euh, hands. And for those who did not protest, only one leg was shattered. Contusions, des blessures sur leur corps. Et ils avaient des traces sur les membres. Ils étaient entravés. Question. Ils étaient entravés dans les cellules de détention. Combien de personnes y avait-il dans les cellules de détention Réponse. On the upper floor, réponse, à l'étage, in those common rooms, a lot of prisoners were detained. Dans ces salles de collective, là où euh, il y avait beaucoup de prisonniers qui étaient détenus. Question. Question. You went distributing the medicine to the Vous sick prisoners. What types of diseases or sickness did they have? Les prisonniers présentaient quel Most type de maladie ou de signes? Had a diarrhea la or fever or headaches. Les de and diarrhée de majority fièvre. of them had uh, wounds on their la backs. Majorité d'entre eux présentaient des Some of them blessures had their sur fingernails or toenails missing. Certains d'entre eux um, avaient Questioned. des uh, 
So it means that the que prisoners donc, whom you treated were que que sick traité, que vous due to the tortures inflicted upon them. Is this correct? Uh, avaient subi. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. The majority of them, yes, they were tortured. C'était le cas. Oui, they effectivement, pour la majorité d'entre eux, ils avaient subi la torture. Diseases. They were sick because they were tortured. Questions: What types of prisoners were given to the prisoners? Torture. Question: Toujours. Quelles sortes de médicaments avez-vous dispensé aux prisonniers? For diarrhea, they will be given the medicine for the treatment of diarrhea. For those who had wounds, they would be given the medicine for the treatment of the wounds. But most of the medicines were rabbit pellet. Mais la plupart des médicaments ont été en forme de crotte de lapin. Did they have their les blessures, les blessures étaient-elles yes, nettoyées they had their wounds cleansed. Réponse oui, effectivement. With saline water, avec de l'eau saline, it, uh, de quicker. manière à leur permettre de euh, guérir plus vite. Was not yet Parfois, and they la were blessure était and encouverte et les prisonniers étaient emmenés et euh, disparaissait. Question. Let me go back a little. Question. When you came to work at S21, did you live inside the compound of S21 or you lived outside? Did you live inside the compound of S21 or did you live outside? Response. Response. I lived in a wooden house. Je vivais dans une maison. And all the child medics stayed there. Et tous les enfants membres du personnel médical, de l'équipe médicale, pour être prêts à y vivre. Question où se trouvait cette maison? Réponse. It was to the northeast of the building. I did not know the street number. It was to the north of the main entrance to the prison. C'était en fait à l'entrée nord-ouest vers l'entrée nord-ouest de la prison. Uh, question. Cette maison était faite en uh, it was concrete et, et and it was wooden on the um, upper floor. Réponse. C'était une maison uh, au rez-de-chaussée qui était. So it means it was concrete en, uh, on the ground floor and it was wooden on the upper floor. Um, is this correct? En béton, en, au rez-de-chaussée et en bois correct. au premier étage. Est-ce exact? Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. It was concrete on the ground floor and wooden on the upper floor. Il s'agissait d'une maison en béton au rez-de-chaussée et en bois à l'étage. Question. Question. You said those people who had wounds were those who were tortured. Les personnes qui présentaient des blessures étaient celles qui avaient été torturées. As they had wounds or sores on their on their backs, and they had broken fingernails or toenails, did you ever see the prisoners being tortured? Et n'avait plus de d'ongles. Response: I did not see the torture personally. The interrogation team was separate, and the guard team was separate, and the child medic team was also separate. I only provided the treatment to them in the building. Question: For those people who were interrogated, where were they interrogated? Question pour les personnes qui étaient interrogées. Où étaient-elles interrogées Réponse on les emmenait dans des endroits lieux en fonction des elder people. They would be taken to different locations, and I, the child medic, would only stay at the building. Question: How did you know that the wounds were the result of being tortured? Question: Comment est-ce que vous saviez que les blessures étaient le résultat de torture? Because at night I heard the screaming. And I saw the sores and the wounds. So when I provided a treatment, I asked them, "How did they got the wounds and the sores?" And they replied to me that they were being interrogated. Je leur demandais comment est-ce que les prisonniers avaient Question. So you knew because you asked the prisoners by yourself. Is this correct? Les prisonniers me disaient qu'ils avaient été torturés. Question. Donc vous avez appris l'origine de ces blessures parce que vous leur avez demandé, n'est-ce pas Réponse. Je leur ai demandé d'où venaient les blessures que les prisonniers présentaient sur leur corps. Et donc je leur ai posé la question directement, oui. Question. 
You said you provided the treatments and went around dispensing medicine to the prisoners. Did you also provide the treatment to the S21 staff who were sick? Des membres du personnel de 21 qui étaient malades. Réponse. If they were sick and they asked for the medicine, I would dispense the medicine to them. Yes. Les membres du personnel me demandaient d'être soignés. Bien, je leur dispensais des médicaments. Question. Question. The medicines dispensed to the prisoners who were sick and to those who were the S21 staff were the medicines the same? Est-ce que c'est il s'agissait des mêmes médicaments que vous dispensiez à la fois pour les membres du personnel de 21 et pour les prisonniers de 21 médicaments pour les mêmes types de maladies. Question. Let me talk about the child medics uh, whom you just described. Parlons de, des Can you tell us again des, des the four names of the child medics? Que vous avez juste What were their names? Vous de décrire. Que vous me redonner le nom Response, des, uh, yes. Cette équipe? They were Mon, Réponse, il y avait Mon Hau, Hau, Tim, and Tim, I myself, Don. Et moi -même, Don. Question. You said uh, there was a medic named Mon. Was the medic Mon male or female? Mon was male. Response. He was a child who stayed and worked with me. There were four of us, the child medics. Question. 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 From the same village. Il venait du même and village que question, moi. Question: He was male. Dans le Response: Schnarr. Yes. Et il était question: Il était de sexe masculin? Réponse: Oui. Question: Question: When you worked at S21, did you ever see Lorsque vous prisoners à S21, est -ce que vous being walked or taken out for interrogations or being taken out uh, elsewhere? Possibilité de voir des prisonniers que l'on emmenait en cours interrogatoire Prisoners ou autre part. To be interrogated during the daytime. On emmenait les prisonniers en interrogatoire pendant la journée. I was wondering what happened, what happened to those old prisoners and why the new prisoners came in and why sometimes the prisoners had more wounds on their bodies. Uh, and in the morning, when I sometimes went to provide a treatment, uh, uh, they, they were gone. Sur leur corps. Et le matin, quand ils Question. So, so uh, some prisoners Question. disappeared. Donc, disparaissaient. Did you know, from the time the prisoners arrived until you, the Et time you provided the treatment and until later on they disappeared, how long had they stayed before uh, they disappeared? Et le mot, il donc, disparaissait. Donc, quel, quelle était la durée qui s'écoulait Some stayed there longer for a Et month or two months or three months, depending on the allegations on un them or on their mois, network. I was not really sure on this matter. Je, alors, je ne sais pas trop. Il, en fonction peut-être des allégations euh, les concernant. Did you know that within mm. the S21 compound Question. Est-ce que vous savez si... That is within the compound of the school. Was the interrogation location located inside the compound? Du de l'ensemble des bâtiments. Response in S21 office. There was no interrogation room. They were taken out to be interrogated. They were not interrogated inside the compound. Question. At the detention facility where you dispensed the medicines to the prisoners, were there any female prisoners? Response. Most of the prisoners were male. I did not see any female prisoners. Questions. Did you ever see any foreign prisoners? 
for example, Westerners or Vietnamese prisoners, des prisonniers uh, d'origine occidentale ou bien d'origine vietnamienne. Uh, did not see any foreign prisoners, as so they might be housed separately in different buildings, either in building one or two, and as I only worked um, in building three. And there were no foreign prisoners there. Dans les bâtiments Questions. 1 ou 2, moi je ne travaillais que dans le bâtiment 3. What was the food ration given Question. to the prisoners? Quelle était la ration alimentaire que l'on donnait aux prisonniers? Response. Only one bowl Réponse. of gruel was given to On each prisoner. Un bowl de and for aux those who worked inside Réponse the, qui travaillaient à the prison were asked to distribute the food to the prisoners. Uh, on leur demandait de distribuer la nourriture aux prisonniers. Question. Question. During the time that you worked Pendant la période, over there, vous avez travaillé à did Zantien. you know if uh, prisoners were taken to have their blood drawn? Savez-vous si on a emmené des prisonniers Response. I um, did not see any prisoners taken away to have their blood drawn. Je n'ai pas été témoin de telle chose. Question. Question. What about the medical experiments? Were there any medical experiments conducted on prisoners in S21? Response. I was a child medic. I did not know this. Maybe the adult medics knew about this. Je n'avais pas ce type d'information. Peut-être que you les said they were adult medics and later on they were arrested. Question, vous avez dit qu'il y avait taken des away. adultes membres de l'équipe médicale. You know, et vous avez dit qu'à un moment donné, ils ont été emmenés. Did you know the reasons for the for their arrest? Connaissez-vous euh, la raison pour laquelle ils ont été arrêtés? For the adult Réponse. medics, they hate made some mistakes. For example, there was a reaction to the medicines that was injected or the tablets that were given to the prisoners and they were accused of being the enemy. Question. Did you know who ordered for the arrest of those adult medics? Response. Um, I would say there would only be those who ordered the arrest of those adult medics. They were arrested at the night and next morning they all disappeared. Question. In SP1 office, uh, you worked there, and until when uh, did Vous you leave? Vous avez travaillé à S21, et à quel moment avez-vous quitté I stayed there until the day I fled, when there was a gunfire. Où je me suis enfui, où j'ai entendu des so tirs. So it means you worked at S21 until the 6th or 7th of January 79, is that correct? Jusqu'au 6 janvier 1979, est-ce exact? Response, that is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. We fled on the 6th or the 7th, and we separated from the rest. We were child medics. We left first, and the older people, they stayed behind, and they left later. Question. So you stayed and worked at S21 for almost a year. Did you ever attend any political training session? Pendant une année, ou presque, Avez-vous euh, jamais assisté à Response. des euh, réunions Regarding politiques Any political training session No, I did not attend any. Réunions euh, politiques d'importance Non, Question. je, je n'ai jamais What assisté about à des réunions. Smaller group Question, meetings, il did you attend réunions de euh, plus petites plus petits comités four de, small groups euh, meetings of four ou jamais participé à des three men team meetings yes i used to attend those meetings for criticism and self criticism de réunions de question what et de was the content of the question, meetings quelle était la teneur de ces réunions response they talked about the hygiene on y parlait d'hygiène, about uh, working hours and strict uh, working discipline et de la 
discipline du travail stricte. Question. Question. During the time that you provided treatment to the prisoners, did you see Pendant any prisoners who were sick and died in a detention facility? Response. There were prisoners who were sick and ah, died, and yes, I did uh, see them. Qui étaient malades et qui sont morts. Oui. Question. During the time that you worked there, how question. many prisoners died due to illnesses? Response. During the time that I worked there, réponse, there were many of them, probably up to hundreds. Beaucoup, um, Des centaines, Question, what happened to the bodies Question. of those uh, prisoners who died of the illnesses? Des, uh, qui Response. De we, the child medics Nous, and the medics, were asked to carry those bodies and buried them in the vicinity of the compound. Question, did you know the locations where the, body, where the bodies were buried? Question, est-ce que vous savez Response, they were buried to the west of the building and also at the surrounding vicinity of the compound that was for only individual prisoners who died. Thank you, Mr. President. I do not have any questions for this witness. Judges of the bench, do you have any questions? Mr. President, Judge Cartwright, you may put your questions to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Sit down. Did you know what was in the medications that you gave to the prisoners or to the staff? Response. Those medicines were locally produced. They were known as rabbit pellet medicine. They were black in color. Thank you. And um, the rabbit pellet medicine, was that medicine that was commonly used in Cambodia before the time of the regime? Response. They were only produced after 1975. Do you know what was in that rabbit pellet medicine? Question. Qu'est-ce qu'il y avait à l'intérieur de ces médicaments sous forme de crotte de lapin? Response. The rabbit pellet medicine. I did not know the substance to make the medicines. They were only produced and distributed to us for the dispensers to the prisoners. Yes, thank you, President. I have no other questions of this witness. The President, uh, Judge Lavent, you can proceed with your questions. Oui, bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire combien de différentes sortes de médicaments vous disposiez à la pharmacie Combien y avait-il de différentes sortes de médicaments Response. The types of the medicines that are dispensed to the prisoners, they were those medicines for the treatment of the wounds, the diarrhea, and the headache. Tous ces médicaments, c'était tous des crottes de lapin ou c'était des choses un peu différentes Est-ce qu'il y avait différentes sortes de crottes de lapin other than the rabbit pellets. Response. Réponse. There were some other medicines too, and they were in uh, different forms and shapes from the si rabbit pellet medicine. They were in a form different from the crottes de lapin. 
C'était des médicaments qui avaient été fabriqués au Cambodge ou qui venaient de l'étranger From uh, what I understood, I also actually tested the medicine because sometimes when I was hungry, I also ate those medicines and some of them had like sweet taste and some of them had a bitter taste and I think they were made locally. Est-ce que George ces Lavergne. médicaments avaient des effets Est-ce qu'ils soignaient véritablement les gens ou est-ce qu'ils étaient sans aucun really effet Medicines could uh, provide uh, some treatments. Some of them were effective and some were not. I actually ate a handful of those medicines and it did not uh, have any effect on me. I ate those medicines because I was so hungry. Absolument pas d'effet sur moi. Moi, j'ai pris ces médicaments-là parce que j'avais tellement faim. Vous avez dit que vous aviez constaté beaucoup de blessures. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous décrire un peu plus en détail quel type de blessures vous avez relevé et où étaient situées ces blessures Sur quelle partie du corps Wounds and the sores that I had, like I said, uh, mostly they were on the backs and on the arms and the legs of the prisoners. Sur le dos et sur les membres des prisonniers. Les bras, les jambes. Est-ce que vous avez vu des traces de brûlures? Did you see any burn marks? Any burn, scars des traces from burning, de lésions qui pouvaient éventuellement kind of être dues à l'usage d'électrocutions. Uh, Regarding the lesions, yes, I saw them and I actually asked a prisoner who had a lesion on their body. There were bruises and there were some wounds with fresh blood. There were all, kind, all kinds of wounds and sores. Il y avait toutes sortes de lésions. Est-ce que vous avez constaté des lésions au niveau des oreilles, par exemple Réponse I saw some lesions and on the ears and some of the ears of the prisoners were torn and I saw this when I provided the treatment. Euh, avait euh, subi des euh, mauvais traitements. C'est ce que j'ai pu constater. Est-ce que George des prisonniers Lavergne. portaient des traces de Did lésions au niveau des parties génitales I did not see it because they wore pants. They wore, actually, they wore shorts and some of them were topless. Est-ce que vous avez recueilli des confidences des prisonniers sur les différentes formes de violence? 
dont ils avaient été victimes. Qu'est-ce qu'ils vous ont dit Est-ce qu'ils vous ont dit qu'ils avaient reçu des coups Est-ce qu'ils vous ont dit qu'ils avaient été électrocutés Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de l'usage de tenailles Response. I did not there ask them in details. I was afraid that I would be seen by the guard, and if so, I would be dead. D'être vu par les gardes, et si j'avais été vu par les gardes, j'aurais été tué. Vous ne pouviez pas poser de questions. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur demander où ils avaient mal. Vous ne pouviez pas leur Illness they had, and then after they replied, then I just provided the medicine to them. I did not ask many questions to each prisoner because I was afraid that I would be accused. Plus de questions que cela parce que j'avais peur de d'être accusé. La peur, c'était quelque chose qui était là en permanence. Vous avez dit que vous aviez vu des adultes être arrêtés. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous avez eu connaissance de suicides parmi le personnel médical Response. There were two fearful like Yun who hang himself to death. He was the chief of my unit, of my team, the new chief. C'était le nouveau chef. Vous souvenez pourquoi il s'est pendu? The interpreter apologizes, but the question was not audible. If the judge could please repeat. Vous souvenez-vous de la raison pour laquelle il s'est pendu? Judge Lavergne, do you remember why he was hanged? Response. I knew it because he was the chief of my team, and he feared his death, like what happened to Pao, the former chief, because Pao had been arrested for the same allegation, and that he made a mistake by injecting some kind of injection into the detainee to lead to their death. That's why he was so fearful, and he committed suicide. Et donc, c'est comme ça qu'il s'est suicidé. Vous avez parlé tout à l'heure de votre participation à des séances d'autocritique. Qu'est-ce qui se passait si, lors de ces séances, on disait que l'un d'entre vous faisait mal son travail Quelles étaient les conséquences de ces séances et de ces critiques of these sessions and these criticisms. Response. At my medic uh, unit, uh, we were asked to attend such a session to only be instructed how the sanitation would be applied and if we did not follow the rule, then we would be removed. When you say you were removed, what does that mean? Set aside. What does that mean? Does it mean that you were arrested? Does it mean that you were arrested? Response. 
Responds, uh, removal means uh, being taken away. Et qu'est-ce qui se passait Question. pour ceux qui étaient emmenés Vous les avez revus People who had been taken away would disappear. Ceux qui étaient emmenés disparaissaient. Qu'est-ce que Question. on vous disait What were you told à l'égard des prisonniers On vous disait qu'il ne fallait pas trop leur parler. On vous disait quoi On vous disait qu'il fallait les guérir. Est-ce que vous avez guéri des prisonniers Ou est-ce que vous les avez maintenus en vie Ou essayez de les maintenir en vie The medicine would be given to them to make On them alive for the period until they would have been interrogated. That's all. Donc, ce que l'on vous disait, so, les consignes que vous receviez, c'était quoi C'était de maintenir en vie uniquement pour le temps des interrogatoires c'était ça la consigne did not receive such orders, non, pas reçu but uh, ce genre de normally consigne, after such treatment, then the people I gave the medicine to disappeared. So I realized uh, for sure that uh, these people disappeared gradually, and when the old people disappeared, the newcomers kept coming. Est-ce que vous avez Question. eu l'occasion de voir l'accusé ici présent dans la salle d'audience de, depuis, depuis le début Est-ce que vous l'avez déjà vu Est-ce que vous le reconnaissez aujourd'hui Response. I now see him in the courtroom. Oui, je le vois dans le prétoire. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure à une question du juge Toumoni que vous n'aviez jamais osé le regarder dans les yeux. Aujourd'hui, est-ce qu'il vous fait toujours peur Response. I am now quite mature. I get uh, older now, and since living in this current society, I am not fearful of him any longer. Vous avez vous quitté, vous avez quitté votre famille, vous aviez 14 ans, c'est exact? I left uh, my family to live in Phnom Penh when I was 11 years old. 11 ans. Votre famille était d'accord Est-ce que vous avez eu le choix Ou est-ce que c'était quelque chose qui était forcé Response. It was not uh, the terms like force or um, uh, use at that time. It was about assignment. We had to accept the assignment. Il fallait accepter la désignation qu'on nous donnait, l'affectation qu'on nous donnait. 
Monsieur le Président, je n'ai plus d'autres questions à poser aux témoins, que je remercie, mais j'aimerais savoir si l'accusé reconnaît que le témoin ici présent faisait partie ou non du service médical de S21. President, uh, the accused, uh, please respond to Judge uh, Levin's question. The accused, your honors, in the history of S21, and I requested uh, the teenagers from Kampong Chenang to work at S21. There were about 40 of them having looked and uh, heard the educational background of Seik Don, uh, Seik Don and his uh, memory. I can accept that he was the child sent from Kampong Chenang and uh, his memory was rather, is rather low and I would like to give you an example in his testimony just now. He said that he is now 48 years old uh, in response to your honor's question. So it was that the year 1961 that he was born, but with Judge Tumani, he said he came to S21 when he was 11 years old. And then he was confirmed by Judge Lavergne, and he said that he was 11 years old back then. So if he was 11 years old when he was working at S21 at the first place, then he would have been born on uh, in the year of 1964. I do accept that his uh, educational background is low, so is his memory. But then, uh, if he gives this uh, testimony differently regarding his uh, uh, birth, he talked about Comrade Pao, who was the chief of medics at S21. It is true that Pao was the chief of the medical service at S21. And Pao was arrested uh, in uh, mid 1976 or early 1977. So, by way of saying that Seik Don came to uh, the S21 at 78, uh, it would not be correct because at that time there were comrades uh, Rin and Tri who Parce were very close to my supervision and asked uh, him to take the blood to uh, Hospital 98. Des des and this testimony makes me uh, suspicious that uh, Sek Don may not have been the staff of S21. And uh, he said that he only know me at S21 and not Mom Nai. At least he should have known Peng, because Peng uh, was very famous at that time at the location. So in conclusion with this kind of testimony, I feel that uh, I am very suspicious that Sek Don may not have been the staff member under my supervision at S21. But uh, I would like to... Uh, request that uh, there should be Mais further documents to support the list of staff member at S21 to make sure I can accept that Don is the, uh, uh, was the former staff member at S21 and the prosecutor can assist us with this. Uh, the president, uh, we would like to now give the floor to the prosecutors to proceed uh, with questions to the witness. The prosecutors have 15 minutes for such purpose. The floor is yours. The prosecutor 
Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Don. You indicated before the chamber briefly already that you attended uh, trainings at the technical school at Pregnaut. What were the trainings about? at that time. Cette formation portait sur quoi? Response. Réponse. We were trained to crawl, to fire the guns, and to uh, disassemble the guns. De et à Prosecutor, et à thank you. Before Question, the co-investigating judges on the July 2008, uh, with ER number 0016-3815-D28-16. You say that uh, during the trainings there were people who complained that they did not have enough to eat and there were too much training. And later on he was accused of the counter-revolutionary enemy and was arrested and disappeared. So could uh, you tell the court uh, whether you remember any names of those people who were arrested uh, during the training with you? Response. Uh, there were people from other units uh, who were arrested, not the people in my unit. Prosecutor, thank you. In the same interview on the 16th of January 2008, the same ER number, you say that there were about 100 children who were assigned separately to work at S21. Do you remember having seen any female children who worked with you, or were there any female children who came from the same hometown, like you. Response. There were two children from my hometown, Son, Pat, who were bigger than me or uh, who were older than me back then. The prosecutor, were there any female children? Response. Réponse. No, there weren't. Non, uh, there were only male children. Prosecutor, thank you. In merci. the same interview, dans cette même you indicated that uh, the child medics survive and the adult medics died or killed. Uh, so do you remember where those adult medics uh, were from? Response. I have no idea where they were from because I saw them working there but I did not know where they came from. Prosecutor, thank you. In the same Statement, but on page uh, 0016-3819, you said you saw Vietnamese soldiers with the military uniforms and civilian clothes was being taken in, and you believe that uh, these Vietnamese uh, detainees were subjected to torture too. Do you stand by the statement now? Response, I réponse. did say so, oui, dit. Uh, and I did see the uh, people with military Et uniforms, but I don't know whether they were Cambodian or Vietnamese. Si ou Prosecutor, thank you. Pour did you ever merci. witness any tortures being inflicted onto those Vietnamese people? Response. The Vietnamese prisoners were not put in the building I was assigned to uh, work in. Res uh, uh, question. You said uh, the other colleagues 
told you about blood drawing, who were they, the people who told you about this incident? Response, there were my colleagues, the same child medics who worked with me, uh, who shared this information with me, but I was suspicious of how blood would have been drawn back then. Prosecutor, thank you. Uh, with the president's leave, could the ER number 0018-1396 be put up on the screen? The president, uh, the AV unit, uh, could you please put uh, this document 0018-1396-D48-2 on the screen as requested by the prosecutor? The prosecutor, Mr. Seik Don, the picture, the photo right in front of you here is the location of S21. There are buildings A, B, E, C, and D. And in Khmer, we have already Ka Ka avec la lettre équivalente Ko en and Ko. So could you please Ko, indicate Ko, in which building dire, you were assigned uh, to work in? So these buildings are now facing east. So we, uh, behind these uh, buildings, then th it is the west uh, direction. So could you please indicate in which building exactly you worked in? Response. I worked in building house number three, uh, building C. bâtiment numéro le bâtiment C. Prosecutor, thank you. Procureur, merci. In which building that uh, you said uh, Pao hanged himself to Pao death? Pao suicidé par pendaison. Response. Réponse. Uh, not Pao, actually Yun um, Pao, hanged himself to pendu. death in uh, Building D. Et dans le bâtiment D. Prosecutor, le in procureur. this same photo, can you also Alors, photo, remember? Nous dire? Because there is an entrance uh, which is in the shape of T letter. So, can you tell us D. in which location the medics uh, could uh, stay? Où because there was a red tile roof uh, buildings, and so can you please indicate or point to any particular house the medics would uh, have rouge. been working in? Dire dans quel bâtiment se trouvait stationnée l'équipe médicale? It is located almost right uh, opposite uh, the entrance. So, can you please indicate uh, that building which is right in front of uh, this uh, red tiled roof building? Montrez ce bâtiment. Uh, response, I don't think I understand much of this picture or photo. Cette photo. The prosecutor, if you Question. look at this uh, building, the red uh, roof uh, building, there was uh, there is an entry. Could you please tell us where would rouge have been the house, the medics, the child medic stayed in? La I think uh, it would have been this uh, 
réponse. Um, house, uh, which is right. Bạn ở côn lục. Right in front of the entry because there were. Face the entry. Bạn đá lưng lên. Um, some pro hoc. Prosecutor, you said Question. that you noted uh, the amb ambulance, the white ambulance, which was parked uh, at that time, Vous whether it was to uh, collect blood or not. Uh, so could you please tell the court whether you I could remember any sign from that ambulance uh, to identify it belonged to S21 or other hospital in Phnom Penh back then? Response, I saw a white uh, when, but I don't know whether it was the ambulance uh, that belonged to the S21 or to other hospital, but there was an ambulance. Prosecutor, thank you. If I show you now the map with street number, then could you tell us in which road that you saw such a rue, event, a such an incident, uh, and that uh, you stated also that ça, the child medics house located uh, on one of the streets, uh, uh, street 310, 320. So I would like to give you the photo, and could you please uh, indicate that particular location? Uh, response. I think I don't remember the street numbers because I forget a lot. I knew that I lived at the corner of that street near the compound of S21, but I may be not be able to indicate the street numbers. Co prosecutor with the president and the chambers leave by the end of uh, my question. Could uh, uh, Mr. Sekdon be instructed to, in the, uh, to highlight the location of the medic's house uh, in which he worked in during that time, please? The president, uh, please wait. Uh, have you received any response already from the witness in relation to the building one of the staff member of S21 hung himself the bâtiment où so that for the good record and transcript uh, because so far we have not uh, obtained any concrete uh, response yet and how can we identify those locations and uh, in response to your next question in relation to building C uh, the place where he was assigned uh, to work uh, I think uh, you should not even need to ask him to uh, indicate or draw any kind of mark on that Building C because Building C is quite popular and well known and that the witness already indicated that he worked at Building C. So what you would like uh, the witness to identify next is to locate the place where the medics would uh, have been living and that the building where the uh, staff member hung himself. Have you received this response yet? Uh, the prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I would like Mr. Sek Don to locate the location where he would uh, be distributed medicines to detainees and his response is already clear and recorded but uh, we would like the witness to also identify or to confirm whether this is actually the building he once worked in and for the good record uh, is historical record for the new generation, it is of course for my purpose, uh, our purpose to ask him to locate this building because uh, people would later on know that this building C would have been the place where he worked to distribute the medicine. And that of course building D 
was the location where, uh, in which uh, the chief of the medic hung himself. Response. Well, I would like to clarify a little bit there that he hung himself not right inside the building, but uh, at uh, the outside of the compound in one of the houses. I don't remember those houses. Prosecutor, can you please confirm in which building here, which houses, as you, ha you can see in this photo, that uh, the president, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, could you please produce another hard copy of the photo because even the chamber itself find it difficult to uh, follow you, let alone the public or the witness. The prosecutor, when you indicate, can you mark it on the sketch and you can write which building, A, B or C, for instance? And please also uh, make your speech to the chamber once you mark it on the sketch. À la chambre. The president, the president, the counsel for the witness that you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, says the counsel. Because the witness cannot understand the sketch, is it possible for the national co-prosecutor to have other alternative uh, photos to show to the witness in order to make him understand better that is the location as specified in the photo or maybe the co-prosecutor can come uh, close to the witness to show him the president the national co-prosecutor can you make a clearer questions to the witness, and please also bear in mind the limited knowledge of the witness, and try to simplify your question so that with his limited knowledge he can understand and inform the chamber of what he knows. If your question is beyond his knowledge, it is a waste of time. Co-prosecutor, we the co-prosecutors understand that with the president's leave, if I can go and show the witness the location, then I would try to do so and explain to the witness, the president, 
Yes, you can do it, but bear in mind that now you have five more minutes in excess of your time allocation already. Please be, be specific and try only to pinpoint the actual content of what you want to ask. D'indiquer clairement ce sur quoi porte votre question. The President, President. Mr. The Co-Prosecutor, you cannot Monsieur discuss vous ne in private pas. with the witness. Uh, you have to indicate and explain to the witness in public so that the chamber and the audience can understand what you are trying to communicate to the witness. Otherwise, it might be mistaken that you try to lead the question into the points that you want to get from your question. Thank you for your instruction, Mr. President. Mr. Seindon, this is a sketch of the two-line compound with the buildings A, B, C, and D. And you said this is the location where you went around dispensing the medicines. That's the third building, right? Can you indicate the location of the medical office? Là où se so le it is over there, says the witness. Medical. Please, can you indicate it Ça on the sketch? Que vous de you votre, can either circle uh, it soit en in order to show the location so that it's the entrance to the, entrance to the tools line compound. Voici le portail de right? the de president of the defense council. Voilà uh, you le, may proceed. The place where the medical medical. The president. Vous pouvez procéder. Juste demander que Maître Carsavo puisse être, être également à côté du témoin en même Mr. temps que le procureur, puisque je ne comprends pas le Khmer pour ma part, mais voilà. voilà. The president. Le president. The time allocated for the national co-prosecutor runs out. So, secondly, the chamber will take into consideration in order to clarify the matter for the public to understand the question posed by any party rather than it's a subjective question, La and only the person who asks the questions can understand the parties. response. So if the chamber Il understands, the discussion or the explanation uh, is to seek the truth, ici, then it is allowed. La question, si la question ou now it is time for a break. Um, the chamber will take a 20-minute uh, break de, um, until 5 to 11. Et when d'explication, d'éclaircissement pour les témoins, eh bien, elle est autorisée. Eh bien, nous allons faire une pause. And we will continue to hear the testimony of this witness court officer. Can you provide necessary refreshments to this witness? And bring him back into the courtroom before the set time. The hearing is adjourned. Um, All rise, Mr. Greffier. Mesdames et Messieurs, levez-vous, Dieu Greffier.